Cyprus, idyllic island, right? Perhaps, but it's a shame in modern Europe that it's still divided, that its two communities can't live together. We can't talk their language and they can't talk our language because of after the war we couldn't mix. And in our curriculum, at school, they don't have Turkish, we don't have Greek. That's the problem that we can't talk, you get me? The International Crisis Group predicted in January that this situation could start changing soon. And in February, the Greek Cypriots chose a new president. And indeed, there's a new wind blowing. Today we had some very encouraging results in the opinion polls. Um, nearly 70% of the people are ready to, to support a solution which will be agreed between the two leaders. And only 25 to 28% insist that we should live uh, separately with the Turkish uh, Cypriots. We're full of hopes and there's a new era run after, uh, after the Papadopoulos, after Mr. Papadopoulos. Uh, this is a great opportunity for us, uh, both sides, uh, for Greeks and for Turkish as well. And we have now uh, two pro-peace leaders. I think that besides best is the last opportunity to solve a problem. I'm afraid that if the leaders of the left in Cyprus, in both sides, fail to reach a compromise and a solution, then we are not far away from the moment that the Cyprus problem will be declared unsolvable. That's what the leaders say, and what about the people? Uh, we believe and we trust this time we can have a chance. It's, it's obvious in, in the Greek Cypriot side, I think, that there is a new atmosphere. There is, there is something that has changed even in the, in the people's minds. So talks could start soon? We can still start uh, the direct talks in June and they can easily end before the end of the year. This is our ap approach but we need goodwill. If uh, we insist that the problem is solved like Turkey says since 1974, if we insist that uh, there is a solution and the solution is the Iran plan like some of the Turkish uh, Cypriots I'd say, 50 or 100 years will not be enough. Many obstacles to overcome, some of them somewhat obscure. Are we going to write federal government, small letters or capital letters? Cyprus problem is a problem like this. <laughs> what, what, is the, what is the utility of confidence building? <laughs> So why should the world care? Cyprus still is an obstacle between uh, NATO and EU security policies. Uh, it's still a problem between EU and Turkish relations. We believe that it's going to be a development of huge regional and international importance. A move that will obviously uh, be a boost to Turkish EU membership prospects. Uh, a move that will probably de in a definite manner um, smooth relations between Greece and Turkey, uh, the two NATO allies of the region, and of course uh, making the whole of Cyprus an island of, of uh, peace and prosperity and cohabitation between, well, uh, Christians and Muslims. Is that why the ICG took up this rather dormant conflict? Cyprus matters to the ICG because it's a unresolved conflict in the middle of Europe. We, we don't provide any kind of direct assistance, so basically what we're doing is we're reporting on conflict, we're providing analysis with recommendations, and our recommendations are read by uh, decision makers around the world, and those are the people that we're trying to target primarily. Um, the other thing with especially the Cyprus reports, I think what's good about them is they're translated and distributed on the island itself, um, so through that we try to disseminate the information so that the people on the island can understand some of the issues that we're addressing in these reports and can understand some of the ways to move forward to resolve the conflict. There remain some sticky issues to be resolved, however, like the presence of the Turkish army on the island. They're not doing anything, they're protecting us, and they have soldiers, we have soldiers, and they have between, between both of them, you and there isn't anything, it's an island, everywhere, wherever you go, this has to be there, the, the soldiers have to be there, that's what I'm thinking. And you said, are you ready to come out of the box? If the lion itself said the box and it will eat us, 
We are not going to get outside the box. <laughs> if we are sure that uh, outside the box we shall find somebody with uh, his uh, hand uh, ready to shake it and work together with us, yes, we are ready to do it. And that's the message the ICG carries back and forth. It's remarkable how few people are travelling to all four parties, main parties in this dispute. The great strength of ICG is not just one person. I'm obviously the person going to between Istanbul, Athens and Nicosia, but there's also people in Brussels, in London, in New York, and they're all pulling in the same direction, they're making the same arguments, we're very well coordinated. And by doing that, we can try and lift the game, lift us to a new level, which is really what it's all about. The only people who can make the real difference are the leaders of the two sides in Cyprus, but they have to have support from around the region, especially they have to have support from Ankara, and this is something that we are trying to, to do most of all, is to explain the Greek Cypriots to, to, to Ankara and explain Ankara to the Greek Cypriots. And yes, I think there are very few people doing that, and ICG is making a difference by trying to reassure people that it's safe to go out.